sustain within the crevices of consciousness, suspended like evaporated fluid, I shall venture forth beyond the boundaries, stride with determination. For at the core of self-esteem lies the inevitable pit of self-loathing, humiliation and regret. are we all vulnerable, erratic, and consumed by darkness. In the obscure, distant, and alien landscapes, I dwell, nocturnal, perilous, and deeply introspective, within the walls and over the ceiling, whispering your name. What was it again? It is deceiving to claim it will be easy. Well, no. I am unaware of any existence devoid of hardship. One can persevere by not truly caring love, a captivating force, propelling the serpent of intellect and the lion of determination closer together. The survival instinct prevails. Love will lead to demise, torment, and mutilation for the sake of it. For naught but a moon conjured spell. Sometimes I simply write, disregarding judgment and criticism, allowing thoughts and emotions to flow freely. Eternal chaos, utter randomness, infused with illusory elements of corporeal experience, or perhaps pure phantasm, I do not know. Governed solely by the few and their contained phenomena, the only remaining way to care is through the familiar. Personalized inferno, seeking Rift. connection Rift. and souls amidst a deafening void of human presence. Our presence in this vast Restless paranoia takes over. Diabolically fantastical, I perish within the blazing kiln and furnace. Echoing omens, piercing cries of banshee and wailing spirits, my beloved. It is always the more, the something else. That confounds me. It is usually the same thing that keeps it intriguing. Oh, when I grow weary of life, time creeps slowly. And in the spaces in between, madness sprawls freely. I cannot be what you want me to be. I am not the answer to your prayers. I cannot fill the void in your heart. I am not the missing puzzle piece. Don't come to me seeking love or strength. Don't come to me for comfort or solace. Let me find my own way in the stillness of the night. With only my dreams for guidance, I have nothing to offer, nothing to give, just a broken soul with shattered dreams. I cannot be your savior or your guide. I cannot be the light in your darkness. Don't come to me expecting anything, for I am nothing but a mere mortal, trying to find my own way in this chaotic world I call home. Let me be, in my own quiet space, as I try to put the pieces back together, and find my own purpose. I have nothing to offer, nothing to give. But 
maybe one day I'll find something within that I can share with the world.
post-apocalyptic cityscapes, desolate and bleak, reflected the agony that the soul did see. When you feel ready, gradually allow yourself to return to your surroundings, carrying with you the weight of this nihilist understanding. With each word spoken, my hope faded away, replaced by a profound sense of disarray. The philosophy of antinatalism whispered in the wind, questioning the worth of life we have chagrined. Embrace the absurdity of it all, for it is within this absurdity that the raw, unfiltered truth lies waiting to be discovered. Conclusion draws near, immersed in despair. No glimmer of light, no solace to share. In the tapestry of existence, a portrait of woes without a name, the author's essence still shows. meticulously devised for those intrepid souls who embrace the unfathomable depths of existential nihilism and pessimism. Assume, if it contenteth thee, a position of utmost serenity, thus allowing thine physical vessel to succumb to tranquil repose, whilst permitting thy psyche to embark upon the arduous quest for true enlightenment. deeply, profound awareness of life's bitter futility, and as thou exhale, purge thy spirit of illusionary notions of significance. Cast off, as it were, the ponderous shackles of expectations, and willingly immerse thyself in the unyielding truth of our intrinsic insignificance. inspiring self-realization, let us boldly confront the boundless emptiness that defines our paltry, fleeting existence. Behold thyself standing upon the very precipice, gazing unflinchingly into the ineffable abyss that stretches forth into... Allow the depth of the void to enrapture thy senses, and recognize within its void the undeniable purposelessness of our very being. <laughs> 